I want to show you guys something real cool. We're uh, you're in the re doing some research on what fits your property as far as waterfalls, and most of them are un uh, unfortunate. They're out of your budget and they're not a consideration. But the basic type is, of course, is the one made from real rock, a liner and stuff. A lot of you call it real. Through the 50 years of water gardening and all the different things that I fabricate. It's not very real. I mean, basically, you could dump a, a dump truck full of rocks over some liners and probably get a, probably get what you're looking for. But anyways, it gives you a lot of maintenance uh, problems in the future. But when I look at the materials, I'm looking for something that best suits my landscape. And I'm going to get right, right to it. When you look at real rocks and the different parts, I call it a milk jug water garden and the reason I say that is all the years that I fabricated many different things out of stuff like your uh, polypropylene, uh, the big powerhouses, your CPVC, this is all for industrial as far as chemicals and of course your sheets of PVC. I used to make and fabricate many things but when it comes to putting a real waterfall, the materials are your liners, like I said, you're going to have an underlayment, and you're going to have a lot of plastic injected type of formations, whether it's your waterfall wear or your pump type of filtration system. So let's look into it. Please don't do this. I don't want you to spike the milk. If I take a basic milk chug, and it's the same thing, we can go ahead and put a, a hose barb off the hose barb I can melt this put this in put a hose clamp come on the other side of this with tubing and a valve where I can control the flow I'll take a simple knife like this and we're gonna have it let's see it's gonna sit here we're gonna just slice it here come on down and this I'm not gonna take the time I'm doing it. I just want to show you how these things are. So basically, once you get this in, you bring this down. You can pile your rocks up and around it. This is just simple and dirty. We got our prefab waterfall. And you just put uh, the rocks around it. You cover this up. You turn your pump on. This is the, uh, the beginning of your waterfall. Me, I would probably go and put a little hole here, put a little hose part, and, and have a trickle of water. That'd be sort of like a spring. But anyways, you get the thing, the prefab stuff. It's cheap and dirty. And when you get to, before you get to this, and this here is just pretty rock. You're not going to probably use this anyway as part of the waterfall. You get the ugly rocks, you get flat rocks and stuff. They're all basic one color, uh, gray or brown. These here on the other hand, when you look at all the money that you spent for materials, not only is the design work here, the materials are also here. And, and let's talk about as far as the materials. Um, we're looking at stuff and, and you can go to the matrix of a waterfall, how, what materials and stuff. But this here is polyurea. This is like the super plastic. This here is pretty much uh, undestructible. You can look on that page and you can see where they put this around rocks and bricks. And for some reason, people think bricks and cement is the, the it's hard, but it may not be strong. They put this in case some of that stuff and they hit it with a sledgehammer. And the real rock just, I mean, the real, the cement and stuff just falls apart. It's no good. I even had a guy that sort of sells this type of product, but he says, Dave, I got the ultimate product. He says, instead of foam, like like you can see on, on here, and that's the, that's the makeup. And this is what makes this so incredibly worthwhile and a little bit, my kid hit the thing, I can fix the foam part of it. But but anyways, he says, I put cement in mine. And I says, you know what, that's great because, and he said, the best thing is we can up the price 
and we attack the people with the money and and I think he didn't understand that I had all kinds of maintenance all kind of water gardening and I says guess what you just turned me off I says I want something that's good for everybody and not just try to uh, to present it to just the rich people it's sort of more like a, a discriminating product I want something because I'm in the water garden I don't want to be confused with somebody who's professional and professional just means we're putting it in your yard for money this is what we carry no this is the options that I have done for many years I have the the rocks but when you look at something special like this these are all castings they're castings from water formations or rock formations from thousands and thousands of years they take the casting you can see the climate weathering and the different erosion sculpting that took place in the different detail of this and with the polyrhea which by the way is just coating you can see how flexible it is and to make this where it's it's tougher than tough you use the foam to hold the form and then this here not to, to discount the real rock this is oxides from sand it's there from crushed rock and other things and they're individually painted with a spray gun so there's an artistic ability to make the whole formation and you could put this up in, in seconds literally seconds to minutes and it depends on how big they are this and the thing is it's already built you don't have to worry about trying to put a bunch of rocks together over shoot I don't remember where my my jug here went I mean there's a big difference between this and this and trying to put a rock over it we're trying to come up with something that's user friendly something for the homeowner something you can get together with the kids that's not going to to hurt if he falls on a real rock and stuff here I mean it's sort of a it's it's hard but it's not going to be like a rock it's sort of like a, I can feel it's sort of like a cushiony type of thing uh, it does feel like it's coarse it is that of a rock so that's that's the second area so the design the materials are right here so right away we cut through some major costs of what we would do with a real type waterfall.